Well, good morning, everyone. How are you? It's lovely to see you all again, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. So thank you ever so much for popping over just to check out this wee no-bake lemon cheesecake recipe. I put this one to the poll over on my Patreon page, and I asked you to decide between a no-bake lemon cheesecake, a chocolate fudge tart, and some scones with jam and cream. Now, some of you said you might have a problem getting the flour to make the scones, so they voted for this one instead and it's an absolute cracker. Wait till you see how easy this is. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a big, big thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. Again, guys, it means ever so much. So thank you all very, very much. And if you want to see what Patreon is all about and want to check out my page, I'll leave a link in the show more box down below and you can go and check it out if you like. Like I said, a really, really easy recipe, this one. Now, my normal no-bake lemon cheesecake would call for condensed milk but it's very, very difficult to find at the moment. Everywhere is sold out. So this is a kind of backup recipe, if you like, and it doesn't use any condensed milk or mascarpone cheese or anything like that. It's simply cream cheese, cream and icing sugar or confectioner sugar. So it's really, really simple. And you'll probably find you've got a lot of these ingredients already. So it's a really simple one and really easy to make. It does take a wee bit of time because you've got to let it set overnight or a minimum of eight hours if you're making it in the morning. So this is what I've got for you and this is what you're going to need. And as usual, all of these ingredients, along with their weights in grams and ounces, will be in the description box underneath this video as well. So the first thing I've got there is 10 grams of gelatin powder, 5 tablespoons of lemon curd, 200 grams of digestive biscuits, 150 ml of double or heavy whipping cream, 500 grams of cream cheese, I'm just using Philadelphia, 150 ml of boiling water, that's just to dissolve your gelatin, 100 grams of unsalted butter, 125 grams of icing sugar or confectioner sugar, the zest and juice of two lemons, and that's it. So let's go and see what's next. So these are the digestive biscuits that I'm using, but you could also use something like ginger snaps or hobnobs, any kind of biscuit base really, but traditionally it would be digestives. And this is the, the cream cheese that I'm using, it's just Philadelphia, and also some lemon curd. This is the only one I could find, but it doesn't matter, you're just looking for a nice sharp lemon flavour. So the first thing you want to do is get your biscuits into a Ziploc bag or a strong bag and you want to bash these crumbs into crumbs, <laughs> fine breadcrumbs, almost like fine sand. Use a rolling pin or a meat tenderizer, whatever you've got, just make sure they're nice and fine. And this is the tin that I'm using. You're best using a springform pan. It's going to make your cheesecake a lot easier to get out at the end. So that's the pan I'm using. It's 8 inches or 20 centimetres. And I'm also using a circle of greaseproof paper just to line the bottom of the tin. Again, it's just to make sure it comes out nice and easy. Just use a wee bit of butter or oil spray just to stick down your paper to prevent it moving around. So once you've prepared your tin, you can go back to your biscuit crumbs. Now you want to melt your butter, just like that, and add that to your broken biscuits. Give it a good stir around and make sure all of your crumbs are coated in your butter. And all you have to do now is press your biscuit into the bottom of your tin. Just make sure it's well pushed down and compressed. You can use a spatula or even the bottom of a glass or even your hands. Just make sure it's nice and packed down nice and tightly. Then you can pop that into the fridge whilst you make your filling. So just grab yourself a bowl and to that you want to add your double cream. And you want to whisk this until it's nice and firm. Take you a couple of minutes. Something like this is ideal. To that you want to add your cream cheese and just mix them both together. You can do this by hand if you like. I just prefer to use a hand whisk because I think it makes it a lot quicker. And once you're happy, you can add in your powdered sugar or your icing sugar. Now I'm not going to use the electric whisk for this because it's just going to fly everywhere. 
So I'm just going to fold this in with my spatula just to make sure it behaves. And once you've mixed that in, you can go ahead and pop in the juice of your lemons and also your lemon zest. You're going to give this another quick whisk just to make sure it's all mixed through evenly. And I was happy with this. So get your base back out of your fridge and pop your mixture on top. And then with a spoon or a palette knife or whatever you've got, you just want to shake your mixture down and then smooth out the top as evenly as you can. And I was happy with this. I just pop this back into the fridge for about an hour and then you can do your jelly top. Now you could use something like a, a lemon jelly if you have one. I didn't have any and I've got some gelatin so I just done mine this way. So you want to add your gelatin to 150ml of boiling water, mix that until it's dissolved. And then you can pop in your lemon curd and you just give this a good mix. I'm using a fork but you could use a whisk you know, or whatever you've got. Make sure it's nice and smooth and you want to leave this for a good 5 or 10 minutes to cool right down before you pour it on top of your cheesecake. Because you don't want it all mingling, you know, with your cream cheese filling. Now you want to refrigerate this until it sets. Now I gave mine overnight, so that's why you can see the change in the lighting there. But you want to give it a minimum of eight hours because you don't want to take your mould off and the whole thing is going to collapse. So yeah, overnight, ideally. So all you have to do now is release it from its, <laughs> its tin prison. And that was absolutely perfect and I was really happy with this. As you can see, it comes away really easy. I'm just going to keep it on the, the underneath tray just to give it a good bit of support. I'm going to pop some double cream or whipped cream on top, a wee bit of lemon zest and that's it there. Absolutely delicious. It's a really nice contrast, you know, the, the buttery biscuit base and then your lovely creamy cheese filling that layer of jelly on top just gives a really nice different you know sort of texture and then another wee bit of cream with your zest on the top and it just makes for a wonderful mouthful it really does now i don't care that it's only half 10 in the morning <laughs> it's never too early for dessert in my opinion so like i said this has had overnight and it's set wonderfully and I would recommend you know if you're going to do this just to give it the time that it does need to set because there'd be nothing worse than going to all that effort you know and just taking your mould off too early and the whole thing collapses imagine how much a bad mood you'd be in then so that was it that was my very easy no bake uh, lemon cheesecake and thank you all very much for popping over just to check it out but before i go i nearly forgot there there's another channel uh, a new channel that i've just noticed over the last couple of weeks and the lady is more active over on instagram just now but she has started her youtube channel and she's got a video up there so this is her instagram here if you want to go and check her out you know if you're a fan of my channel because of the scottish element and the scottish cooking and scenery that kind of thing i think you'd really enjoy her uh, instagram at the moment and check out our video as well so yeah so that's it so thank you all like i said very much for popping over just to check out this bee recipe and do let me know if you're planning on giving a go for yourself and if you're not already follow me over on instagram and send me your pics there so until i see you next guys mind to take care of yourselves and i will see you very very soon back here on what's for tea so bye for now bye now